What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Planet Zoo tutorial. Today I am going to teach you another trick that I use when I'm building my Zools. Wait, what? There is no zoo, there is only Zool. Anywho, uh, despite my little <laughs> mishap there on the wording, we are going to show you how to make perfect ramps. So, just in case you don't want these little unsightly ramps like this with the, all the bumps and stuff like that. No, you want a perfect ramp. If you've got two elevation changes, which I do a lot in my zoos that I make. I do a lot of elevation changes and terrain work and stuff like that. So if you want to learn how to make, oh say, a perfect ramp, look at this one. That That's pretty nice right there. Look how straight that is. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we're going to go over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up this tutorial to, we're going to do a terrain thing here. And I'm just going to take this and we're going to pull this up just a little bit. Uh, that might be a little too tall. Let me push that back down just a little bit. There we go. All right, and we'll just flatten this to terrain. All right, so now that we got this set up, so let's say you have two terrain levels. Let's say you have one that's up here and one down here, and you want to make a path or a ramp or whatever that goes right down to the bottom area. Well, it's really easy to do, actually, using the tools that we have in Planet Zoo. So you want to go down here to the terrain step tool, and then you want to set all this up so you can set this to whatever you want uh width width doesn't matter you can have it as as much as you want or as small as you want i usually like to use oh something or something like that seems fine to me uh the height doesn't really matter but i mean just go small because it's fine and then make sure the plus for add terrain button is selected not the minus that's subtract terrain so i mean if you want to make a pit that's perfect for that but we're not doing that today we're making a ramp so now the next thing you want to do is you want to hit x on your keyboard which is the shortcut for advanced movement and you will be able to move this little cube here up and down and if you don't have a cube make sure that you can choose the different ones here like if you want a cylinder a pyramid whatever a uh, cube is perfect for what we're doing though so if you want to make a ramp use the cube all right so we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure this is kind of level at least somewhat level with what we're doing. It doesn't have to be perfect right this second, but at least get it kind of level. And then rotate this exactly the slant you want. So if you want like a really like heavy degree slant like that, you know, then you could totally do that. I recommend trying to keep it somewhat kind of uh, not so sloped, basically, uh, especially for like ramps and stuff like that with pass. So. And then move it down until you just kind of have to use your point of view, your eyesight here, and just kind of get that just about right. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can go over this with a smooth tool in just a minute. And then once you get that right where you have it, then just hit your mouse button, your left mouse button, click, or you can hit the check mark in the middle. That's fine. And then move it down, do it again, move it down, do it again and look at that we just made a perfect ramp now I also like to go in here and go back up to the sculpting and use the smooth tool now you guys don't have that but you do have a hundred percent so you can kind of move this around to however you want and then just kind of go over the edges just like that and just kind of slant it out just a little bit and then go up here and do the same thing up here on top as well just make sure you get that nice, nice and smooth right there. And then with that, you can go to your path tool and make a path as big as you want. And we can just take that all the way down this ramp. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's a little messed up here on this app. That's because I use a really wide, wide path. But for the most part, look at that. That's a pretty snazzy looking ramp, wouldn't you say? And you can use this in your zoos and once you master this trick you can do all sorts of things like what i've done over here with this little area here and just the smooth tool and the terrain step tool and you too can make awesome ramps like this all right well i hope i was able to teach you guys a little something in this tutorial i will be back with some more tutorials soon i think probably my next one is probably going to be how to do stairs and stuff like connecting stairs where it doesn't go all the way up so i think i'll probably teach you how to do that in the next video in the meantime 
Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber here on the channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, City Skylines content. That's what I love to do on my channel. And I hope you enjoy it as well. If you do want to see more of that, just click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I have a new video out. I'm going to head out of here, wherever you guys are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for watching.